on SMG. Welcome back to our video. I'm going to be reacting to the deleted scenes from Meta Runner Season 1 by Glitch. Make sure you watch the original link, subscribe to Glitch. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell. I'm trying to do this really quick because this is a 30 minute long video. And then Cartoon Beatbox Battles is supposed to have a new episode later tonight. So I'm going to try and hurry this up. So, uh... Yeah, let's get into this. I cannot wait for the delete, see what deleted scenes are in the whole season one. So yeah, let's get this in three, two, one, let's go. Over the years while working on Metarunner, there has been a lot of cut content that has never seen the light of day. Yep. Today, we're gonna show you. Check this out. Here we go. What? What the fuck is, oh, that's not content. That's a joke, huh? What is yep. <laughs> In all seriousness, guys, we have a lot to show you, so let's begin. A lot. I think the first thing we have is from episode one. Um, actually, the first two minutes of the original, ep like the original episode one, got completely cut. Like we fully animated it, made all the characters. Made everything and then we just completely cut it. Oh man, I don't want to show it. We'll, we'll explain why afterwards, but um, you, you're gonna see like everything from the art style to the way the characters move. <laughs> it is different, right? Way different, yeah. Before we go into it, that's the old oh, no. Metal Runner logo. So it's so uneven. What are the lines? Look at this dude. Why are the lines are they uneven? <laughs> I, I like how it's like a muddy blue as well. Sorry, we'll, we'll continue with the video. Glitchy boy. We're gonna call it Glitchy Boy. Oh, cause the old intro. Hmm? Hey, Tari! Oh, nice. Hi, my name's Bo. You want to play a video game with me? We're going to have so much fun. No, shut up, shut up, shut up. Boy, who's there? Uh oh. Oh, the plush will do. So, do you like dating sims? Do you like dating sims? I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry, what? I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, and then, and then episode one begins, basically. So that was basically like a prologue or whatever. She started off in the garbage dump. She was literal trash. She was literal trash. Literal trash! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. She kind of was trash. The Bell Squad. The Bell Squad forever. Don't listen to her. <laughs> and anyway, I think the original idea was um, the original storyline. So this is not canon now, but Tari was like dropped off in a trash dump. Um, but I didn't figure out why yet. Like, we, like we, what's the we, reason? When we started this, we didn't actually write ahead like you're meant to in a normal production. We just wrote from episode to episode. We started off with episode one. Yeah. Never well, that's why we have to cut a whole scene from it, dude, because we didn't do it properly. But look at this. Like, here's some cool stuff, like, that, that didn't make it into the final episode. <laughs> Tari's eyes. If you notice that, like, Tari's eyes are completely different. Put up a comparison. Um, we used actually a Tari's eyes look completely mm -hmm. different. Well, there was another iteration before this with the plus eyes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was another thing as well, but I don't think... Oh, they were going to do the plus eyes, so, too. Oh. Luke, let's talk about Bo a little bit, Luke. All right, so Bo, if you don't know, is Tazcorp's mascot. Uh, that's a law in the Meta. Oh, Runner. it's her. We featured her in the very first scene of Meta Runner as a doll that really poorly made dolls. And then um, in the season yeah, two the teaser. The reason was to just 
have as well. more mascots in, in the universe, just like big advertisements and stuff. We thought this was cool, but it had like, it served no purpose to the story. There was no reason. Like this whole scene didn't mean anything. Like, I think Bo is supposed to be like, like a cameo or something. I don't know. Like in terms of the story, what we have now for scene one, like works so much better. So Atari, mm. Atari waking up um, in, in the lab actually has so much more story impact than her waking up in this garbage stuff and running into this. And we also, we also explain what Meta Runners is. Without this scene, without that first scene, you don't know what a Meta Runner is. Yeah. But now we go into mm -hmm. familiar territory with the rest of episode one. Yeah. Oh, gosh, the city. The regional Silica City. Look how empty it is. It's so empty. Yeah. Why are there no cars <laughs> on the street, Luke? It's a bit of, it's a, it's a Saturday. <laughs> it's a Saturday. <laughs> It looks sort of cool. Uh, oh, I see SMG4. So, I see like the logo. It's like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like very blue. There's like a lot of junk everywhere. We just didn't have any. Blade Runner. See, look, there's a low. I see SMG4 Mario. Uh, see, there it is. There it is. And there's Bo. And there's Bo, yeah. But you can see. That's what I was trying to say. I saw SMG4 and Mario. Like they were going to like do a cameo or whatever. There's Bell, there's Theo. Okay, what do you think about graphic design? <laughs> See the bottom right? We went full, we went full, uh, crowd. Like with the crowd, we went in full black silhouette just because we were like, yeah, it was too hard. But we were like, no, like, we're gonna be better persona than that. Persona or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> this shit's really good. It's just apple juice, by the way. <laughs> so don't think it's uh, like beer or nothing. Cause I don't drink. We featured Bo again, so we really wanted to push Bo this Taz Corp's mascot. But it's funny because, like, in the second thing, she didn't, we didn't see her at all, right? Like, in yeah. The actual, in the actual, in the final cut. But you don't see her. Like, we never one. ever see Bo again. There's a few more things I want to show in this episode. I don't know why. I, I wonder if she's going to be a really good I part of season two. Part of this is a. This is a cut clip of um, the food they ate in the Meta Runner universe. I don't know, I just wanted to world build and show like the food they ate. Let's, let's watch it. Okay, here we go. Meta Runner food? So Tali looks at some bags of food. So Powered food for gamers. It's like a thing and Kevin really wanted it to be in to show how, how they eat. The idea was like the Soylent, if you've ever heard of the Soylent, it's like the powdered food that you need. I was like, that's the future. Yeah. The future is Soylent. Busy gaming that they yeah. just eat. Powder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you put water or like, in the powder, you idiot. If you look on the right. And they just Mega drink Man it. Can. <laughs> it is Mega Man can. <laughs> it's Mega yeah, Man. We cut it out because it just slowed down the scene. Like, uh, hold on. The last part we want to show you of this episode is the gaming scene, the gaming arena scene. Yeah. So basically, um, it's, it's gonna look very different. That, that's all I can say. Like, very, very it's different. It's still there. It's still bad. Look, <laughs> it doesn't Excuse represent me. us now. Okay. That's all I have to say. All the stuff is still there. Um, for this part, it's just it looks completely different now. And you can do a comparison if you want. It just it looks so different. And after that amazing You're gonna notice the lovely shadow character. Oh my god, everything's different! It's original Belle, she had a much bigger shirt. She had this like this uh this, this like overbite. Yeah. It feels duller for some reason here. I mean it looks alright. But, uh, I'm just gonna say that, uh, you know, it looks oh, good. She looks so different now. Way different. Let's never go back. Let's never go back ever again. Cool. So, yeah, that's all the stuff that was cut from episode one. What I mean, let, let me just say the old bell now is, mm, banging. One animatic. Now, that's just pretty much animatic. the old version of episode one. And we'll just show you the very interesting parts we, we made. Yeah, it's... For you, for you, for the guys that don't know what a storyboard is, it's like just a big comic that we put together to basically tell the animators what 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 what, what they're going to be animating. Insert establishing shot here. Great start. Garbage <laughs> pile. Garbage oh, pile. Wow. So yeah, this is Tari back in the garbage dump. And this is what uh. This is essentially. Well, I'm really good at making comics, so uh, if point, I ever right? get animators, Damn, you're what? A storyboard artist a little meme for us. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm really good at making yeah, comics, so, and... What Meta Runner looked like, the very first in, um, iteration of it. And look, you got the whole Bo doll as well. So we followed it pretty well. Now, there's a really interesting part I want to show about the animatic. It's when we made the 
Ultra Jump Mania parts when Bell was in the stadium. And um, I think a lot of yep. fans are going to recognize immediately uh, what what went into this, or rather where Luke drew inspiration from when he made this. Yeah. So again, this is meant to, like, we basically needed to visualize this, visualize this somehow before we animated it. And uh, look what Luke did to visualize it. Oh, yeah, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin voiced this announcer. Oh boy! Oh my god! Look, it's a tree! SNG4! SNG4! Theo, whoa! SNG4 is Theo! Juicy behind the scenes content for you. That's awesome. So, yeah. So, the show that is so lit. In Ultra Giant Mania, we used Super Mario 64. Because, look, it's. Might as well. Like, if you guys see Theo, you know, like, well, where duh. those moves are from. You're like, oh, yeah, I've seen those moves before. Yeah, it's been. It's Super yeah, Mario 64, like, well, I know. I even see the and dive jump like, and all that shit, like so I know. I wanted to, you know, pay our respects to it with this little parody. I just love that the face palm monsters. <laughs> it's just the Animal Crossing tree with. <laughs> with eyes on it! <laughs> and a charity yep. from TF2. I love how the goalpost is a final destination platform in the background. <laughs> Look, hmm. I had to work with what I had, okay? Oh, how did you execute the glitch, dude? It's exactly it's, it's 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 shot by shot. So if you put it side by side, you'll be able to um, tell. Here we go. It's the beginning of the glitch. It's all or nothing now. Oh, and it goes inside the wall. Woo! Um, so yeah, yeah, humble beginnings, guys. That's that's the big thing to take from this. I think it was very creative what we did. I think like the biggest thing from here is you can actually just make anything. Like you can literally use what you have right now. Luke used just Gmod, like twenty dollar game, to essentially map out what this is gonna look like. And it helped a lot. I, I knew exactly what I was doing, and that's all you need. Something very, mm -hmm. very straightforward, very clear. I remember we were like, we were in. Uh, we were in Japan as well when you were doing this. You were like sitting in a Starbucks on a laptop making this. Yeah, so I was in Gmod. I made that map. That map you saw. Mm -hmm. um, I pretty much just went in Gmod and just laid it out. Got Minecraft blocks, put it out, and then I showed it to you, Kevin. Okay, is this good level? I made level designs. We're professionals. One tiny thing. I know. Voice acting in this. Kevin voice acted it. Oh, no. Don't oh, show them that. Oh, no. Don't show them that, dude. When we made this animatic, we didn't have Lux's voice actor. Either. Oh, I blocked this out of my memory. Yeah, so you can see Kevin's. Oh no, this is gonna be so. Crazy. Kevin voicing Lux. Oh my God, this is gonna be good. I'm extremely busy explaining to the press about your disappointing failure of a performance tonight. Hey, screw you, man. I tried my best. The controller Ooh, messed up. Sound it ain't good. my fault. Oh, there's no need for language like that, dear Bell. Need I remind you who owns you? And who can decommission you in an instant? No, no, sir. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Bell was a lot more Look. submissive in this scene. Oh, yeah, we changed that as well. <laughs> but yeah, she gets thrown. That's wow. Still That's still in there, though. Yeah, she gets hit. I always this wanted to see that. This does seem to be one of ours. I haven't seen her one before. One of She must have been decommissioned with the previous batch of failures. Plasma screen, Ultra Jump Mania gameplay. <laughs> Ooh. Bring in the Tascorp scientists. Wow, so I want all of them here. Now. It is so hard to do a bad guy voice. Mm. You're, gonna, you're gonna talk really low like this, but I just. I want is, her. It's not husky enough. Yeah, you have like an annoying older brother voice. <laughs> that's not very nice. Alright, that's <laughs> automatic. I'll be and that. Uh, There's the cool fishy bootkins. Episode two in the original. Show. Episode two. So, like, two. Before we upgraded to what you see today. Um, the visuals, the graphics. That was SMG three. The original graphics. That, that made kids know what graphics are. They play t they play games. <laughs> yep. You can tell it looks very different. Tari still has her singlet. <laughs> there was a little bit sunburned. <laughs> a little bit red. <laughs> This is out of sync, god damn it. Stop with that coconut. I'm so, a human. Like I do I'm, I'm so glad we changed our visuals. Yeah. So the idea was like I wanted to go for a, a Wind Waker sort of style originally. Like I wanted to be all self Wind Waker is a good like, game. With, like we weren't experienced enough with this kind of sh uh, graphics, so we just went with traditional lighting. Yeah, yeah. Which 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 actually turned out really well in the end. That's nice. So, interesting thing about this episode is a lot of it is very similar, but how Theo and Tari communicate, um, I'll, I'll play a bit. It's very different, yeah. 
<laughs> so like, if you remember, um, I think Tari and Theo actually like fight each other a little bit in the very beginning. In yeah, the yeah, we made it more exciting. Here they just sort of talk. They just talk and talk. Sounds like you died. Yep. Well, if you're not here to kill me, then welcome to my home, Simple Flip Island. The name's Theo. Okay, bye. Simple Flip Island. So yeah, now there would be an obstacle course here, but now they're just walking. Silica City? Is that a secret hidden level after the final boss? What? No. <laughs> Did you know you were in a video game, kid? Um, yeah. So? Uh, so Australian. Let's start with an easier question. Where are you going? Oh, I just need to get to the goalpost so I can get to the next level. And the goalpost should be... Yep. There it is. As you can tell, there is no obstacle course. They're literally just walking through it. Yeah, it's not exactly too exciting. Not the most entertaining thing to watch. Yeah, so basically we did a huge rehaul of this. We just added more in. Like, as you can see now from the mm -hmm. final cut, this whole obstacle course that they run through, just because I wanted it to be more exciting. Yeah, I think it's a, it was a lot better. It was like, we, she goes into this platforming game. There's no platforming! Yep. What? <laughs> well, let's... I never want to look at that ever again. Okay. No, uh, don't. The, don't look at it. There's actually a lot of cut stuff from here that um, didn't actually make the final. I mean, not not the final render, but even, even the, the this this render. There was some very early stuff that we cut out, like straight from the storyboarding phase. Yeah. Originally, in episode two, there was a part where they instead of um, the goalpost, when Theo was like, "Oh, we gotta have to go to the goalpost," he points to this this item he needs to go to, which is like a lemon cannon. Yeah, we, I called it a lemon cannon. It was just like- Lemon you know, cannon. You, you find items first before you go to the end. This is meant to go to this item. And it was a lemon cannon where it's like, giant lemon, shoots laser beams. That was the idea. I wanted to use it. <laughs> and there was gonna be this whole bit where he'd run up to it and there was like this dialogue box and it'll be like an in-game dialogue box that would like push him out. And it pushes Tari out of it. Pu yeah, yeah. But we had to cut it. I think that we had to cut because of resources, just because we didn't have enough time to make it. Yeah, that was, mm -hmm. that sucks. And then there was like a whole f the fight scene at the end. I think there was a fight scene at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the fight scene. There's supposed to be. Have, there was a bit more to it where Theo actually took out the lemon cannon and used it on yeah. people. But again, we had to cut it because we didn't have time for it. Yeah. It sucks. I wish that was yeah. So that, that's it for episode two. Uh, next up, we have. Um, Old character designs. Oh boy. Some of you have seen this before, but this is the original concept of Ty, the very first one what? by our sister. Yeah, so the original story is our sister just, you know, we, we wanted to put in a new character for SMG4 a long time ago. Um, we just came up with a character named Ty. But yeah, this is Beta Ty. Um, we also have, uh, we took this to a model originally and uh, he didn't do a really good job with it. So we have, yeah, so, so we have this, this Tari next. Uh, as, you, as you can tell, like, Tara used to look very, very different back in the day. She had this heart on her shirt. <laughs> this is my original concept art that I made for it. Pretty well. kawaii, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Uh, this, is, this is the very first, like, uh, concept art we actually got on Tari. That was done by a professional. Um, as you can tell, like, the hoodie was a huge change. Um, but yeah, Big it, change. It like, <laughs> emo phase, she turned into Metaton. Yeah, Metaton from Undertale. Yeah, then human tar- <laughs> Yeah, then we were like, let's ditch the whole Raymond floating stuff and let's go to- Let's give her a neck. Yeah, let's make a human. And then, yeah, we- Yeah, then, yeah, then we got oh, with this Tari. Yeah, but then we, yeah, we ditched, we ditched the hoodie. <laughs> no, I, no, I want to talk about Lux. All right, all right. Lux looks like a spaceman. Look at this dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh God, that voice cracked. Oh Lux God. used to look very different. Like what Lux wore was very different before as well. I have no idea what the directive was. On, I, I don't remember what I said, what I wanted. Be, yeah, really rich looking corporate man. I don't know why he looks like he's wearing a jumpsuit. But he looks suit. like he's fresh out of um, MC Hammer <laughs> music video. Can't oh, touch this. Nah, 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 nah. We, we also wanted to go for this whole um, steampunk thing. We were like this neo steampunk. Yeah. He had these glasses so, and stuff. Yeah. The villain, which was Lux, he was going to be like more traditional steampunk old, whereas everything around him is more. The, the mm -hmm. original idea. Was I, I get what you're saying. He's a child because he didn't play games. Now he doesn't like games. Now he doesn't like games and he doesn't he like hates technology. Video games. Then we were like, how can a man run a speed running company? Yeah, he doesn't like but he, he himself doesn't like technology. Yeah. So anyway, we, we ditched that idea. So and we went for this sort of look. I like those goggles. The goggles were cool. Like the goggles were cool, I but we, we never found... Yeah, we, we never found a reason to use them. So we just cut them all together. 
But yeah, those were like the beta versions of our characters. As you can see, there's there's been a lot of uh, iterations. There's also Masa. Masa used to look different. Yeah, he had, his arm was different. Uh, his arm used to be... Oh no, his arm's still that. Okay. Yeah, no, no. His, his jacket used to be different. Yeah, it used to be red. He used to yep. be all red. And be, be Masa's a good character. <laughs> Steven Universe, Theo! Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Definitely not Steven Universe, I swear. Yeah, we didn't... Theo! Um, this is... I don't know, we, we were trying to figure out what we wanted Theo to look like, and, uh... This is you a want very with the green early, hair. Early, early concept of Theo. Normal humanoid boy, but they were like, this this isn't, this isn't look like a video game character. This looks like a, some kid from Hawaii. <laughs> Yeah, oh look, it's closer now. Yeah, then, it's a bit closer. then you made it chubby, and then after that, you uh, <laughs> made his hair green. Yeah, yep. okay, you got the different kinds of heads. These look like Earthbound characters. They do! Dude, that looks like Phineas and Ferb. Dun, 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 uh, um, the, the, the concepting stage. Yeah, he comes along, Kevin comes up with a lot of dumb ideas that just don't make it. So, he's one of them. It's, his name is called Ray Faraday. Now this dude! Ray! I don't know why, I All think right. we just wanted like a revival? No, we just wanted more meta runners. And so we just, I don't know, we wanted... He would have been a really, uh, interesting, uh, side character. Like, like secondary one. character. Uh, no, no, he That's all right. the original episode one. No, but he didn't even appear as a character. Yeah, no, he appeared as a billboard. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, it is, it is in episode one. You do see this image. In episode one. You yeah, do? One. Yeah. Do you? Don't you? I don't know. Fact check that, James. <laughs> well, anyway, as you can see on his, uh, he, he, he was preparing for 2020. Oh, so yeah. Edgy. Look how edgy this boy is. He's got that yeah. Chinese on his... He already <laughs> predicted the corona no, virus. I, I forget what it says. I think it says, like, the warrior or something. I completely it says the family, you goon. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh. All right, guys. I'm, if you guys have seen the key main post of season one, you'll recognize this. It's a bit it's similar. Yeah, this is just what the original poster um, mm -hmm. used to look like before you uh, got it drawn. Yeah, Tari looks like she's <laughs> she saw something very scary. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, so for this ending bit, we have some All right, concepts last part. like just general ideas that I just wrote. Kevin's about. garbage uh, we'll dump. Completely. And we'll go through them really quick because there's a lot of really interesting history to, to each thing that actually made it to the final cut. First one being um, how episode one started. So right now, uh, we actually have Belle playing video games, right? I think at the very initial concept that we had. Bell didn't exist. Bell didn't exist at all. It was literally Tai walked into a GameStop and then she picked up a controller and started playing at one of the machines and she just walked in magically. Yeah, and, and then she came out and then she was like, no, no, someone saw her being um, you know, hypnotized and then they called Tasco. Mm -hmm. And Tasco came, came and over. kidnapped her while she was... Yeah, yeah, that's right. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Lux came over, picked her up, literally just as she was playing, put her in the van, took him to Tascope, and she was like tied down in Tascope and just experimented on. Which is very illegal. Yeah. Like, highly like, illegal. This is, this is quite illegal. FBI oh, open up. Um, no, we, I, I think we just went- FBI there, like, open the fuck up. We don't actually get to see much gameplay again. <laughs> like Lux, Lux at the very end, he still does get her and everything, but we still yeah. got entire to go in and talk to Theo. And yeah, season two, uh, um, everything. To speed running arena. Season two is going to be, uh, I don't know. Another idea was Lux was in front of, because we wanted to introduce Lux properly. He was standing in front of his entire crowd, introducing all of these meta runners. Mm -hmm. But then we realized it's going to take a lot of time making many different meta runners. Yeah. So we just, we decided on just Bell. We, we went with, let's have one other meta runner for, for Tazco, and we went with Bell. In episode three, before Tara and Theo enter the hive, um, there was this whole part where there was going to be a receptionist that they actually talked to, it was a whole robot, and yeah. they had to like... Um, we made a joke about username. Yeah, yeah, and they basically had to persuade the robot to let them into the, the yeah, whole streaming lab. Yeah, but we, again, there's gonna be security to basically. Battle, Battle Blaze used to not be a first person shooter game. Battle Blaze used to be yeah. a Smash Brothers parody. Yeah. Oh! Uh, where it would be poly polygonal people. Um, like Nintendo, they made a very early beta. Yeah, Dragon game. Fighters. Yeah, game, yeah. But it'll be just yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Characters fighting each other, but. We were actually gonna That's how Dragon Smash to, like, became to be. Into an video game. And then, yeah. but then we realized, they were gonna... You know what? Fighting's actually pretty hard. Yeah, we were, 
So they're gonna make a Call of Duty type of game. Animate good fighting, like a lot of it. So we were like, especially with mocap, with mocap technology we had, no. So we decided to go with a uh, first person shooter. Yeah, you just go pew pew pew, and it's pretty <laughs> easy. Yeah. Okay, this, okay, this next one's my favorite. This, this next one's my favorite change. Yeah. Tempest. Yep. Used to be PUBG. <laughs> hey, wow, just shooters. Because back when I wrote this, PUBG in Fortnite was all the crazy. Actually, Fortnite wasn't out yet. It wasn't out yet. No, I, it probably wasn't uh -huh. popular. It wasn't popular yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. I think it was out. But PUBG was all was all the rage, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> Battle Royale is the next big thing. We're going to do one on Battle Royale. Yeah. But then as more game Battle Royales came out, we are like, this is kind of crazy. This is kind of stale, man. You know, shooters? Yeah. Not, not, not so our thing. I was like, okay, how can we make this a little bit more interesting, right? And so the next step was of that was we'd have um, pop, we, we, we'd get like PUBG, but the guns would let you platform. We were like, let's do a platforming battle royale. So like if you had a, a mm -hmm. um, like a machine gun, you aim it down and you shoot downward, you'd actually like be able to jump with it. Yeah. Or like there'd be a shotgun when you pump the shotgun and shoot it's like a double jump and you know rocket, mm. rocket launch all that sort of stuff it, there was a concept that i had that'd be cool uh, i think we and then the <laughs> that would be actually dope it is, there wasn't in, there, it would like it's but it, it would after like 10 20 minutes it would be like boring so we're like, let's maybe like it. five ten minutes would be boring do Bruh. this and yeah. then you have magical Bruh. so much with it right and I, I think we did a really really yeah the, the team did an outstanding job i really like how tempest turned out and uh here's a little fun fact tempest used to be called warlock warfare and oh this was God. the original thing. warlock warfare uh, but i just changed to tempest i don't know i think the team the team just hated the name warlock warfare for some reason Gone for that alliteration all right oh oh oh, oh. 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 that right. first dot point what? is scary all right. Look, you, 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 can, you can talk about this one. This, this is like, this is probably the, the towards the end. Um, we're almost at the end of the video. Yeah. But MD5 was very, very, very different. MD5? <laughs> the original idea in the, in the last episode, they were meant to go into Tascorp. So Tari was in Tascorp already. And MD5 were meant to go in and massacre the entire, <laughs> the entire stuff. I would have, yo, yo, that, that would have been really sick. Yeah, no, not the innocents, but like they were meant to shoot like just random agents and just literally, it was meant to be a bloodbath. Um, we yeah. Were for like, like they were meant to be terrorists in Lux's eyes, basically. Really? Um, I, I, James is smiling behind the camera. He's enjoying this. Here. He was like, I can tell he's enjoying Yeah, you know, SMG3. But yeah, in an alternate reality, Masa was a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> they shut up um, the Tazzle building, but we were like, a little bit, a little bit. That would be actually dope if that they actually happened. Anyway, like they go into Lux's office. But, uh, and there was no blood either, because, uh, I. No, no, Lux, yeah. No, Lux holds a gun at Massa, like in the original. Yeah, um, but we went against it because we were like, yeah. I think at that point, um, our current writer, Jeffrey, shout out to Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, if you do this. They become irredeemable. No one would like them. They go in and shoot up a building. No one's gonna like them. I was like, Michael Brown. That's what I'm like now, just like the real life. Just in real life. Um. So yeah, that was the biggest change. That was like. That's a joke, by the way. The wildest change for me. I don't remember this one. Oh yeah. Lux is very much. <laughs> Basically, like AK-47 shoot up a school. <laughs> That's arm off, muted to commission. <laughs> He's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> ah, God. The thing is, we didn't explain what decommissioning meant. Like literally, we didn't show what decommissioning <laughs> was. <It's not> smarter. <laughs> it was the idea was uh, decommissioning. No, it's law that decommissioning someone is to unmake them a meta runner. What makes someone a meta runner? Their arm. So Lux decommissioning someone. I was gonna get him to. Like, so okay, he decommissioned Masa in uh, episode ten. But we, we didn't include it because we were like, like that's. Not Lux, like that's too violent for Lux to just do that. More clean, you know. Yeah, yeah. He, he wouldn't want to get his hands dirty unless he absolutely has to. But Lux, you uh, know, but yeah, shot Lux, off Moss's that, arm, so that was kind that was, of that was fun, decommissioning. That was basically everything under the sun that we actually cut from Metaron season one. Wow. Um, you guys are fully really? up to date now. There's, it, it's been a crazy journey. Like season one has been absolutely. And season two is coming next month. Two, um, the we have the trailer dropping very very soon. It's coming out next week, guys. What? Season two That's trailer. spoilers. Don't what? Tell them that. You can see the season two trailer. It's coming out next week, and next you week. See that bar of quality has skyrocketed. We've put our entire soul yeah. into this. 
our entire team has been working it's coming, so hard. It, by the way, it's coming out October according to Watfi. Um, that timeline, wa Watfi timeline or whatever. I hope you guys like it. It, it's, <sighs> Next really week play. is the trailer for season two. Yo, I'm definitely reacting to that. I'm definitely reacting to the trailer. Um, and we, we like, hope you guys enjoy it. after course, school course, next course, week, um, I'll have to like take the bus, yeah, go I'm home right away, to react to the trailer. Well. That's it. And to prepare for season two, we've cut together all of season one of Meadow Honor. You can go check it out on this channel. Links in the description. Yep, th there, there it is. is the... like, uh, we did a spin off show with Theo as well. You can go check that yep, out. Yep, Theo. And then, yeah, the new game plus is supposed to be the but whole like, season in any, one. In any sort of uh, Kevin and Luke fashion, we're not going to end off on a solemn goodbye. No, no, of course. We're not that boring. We're going to end off on a funny note. We have uh, a lot of funny, uh, what would you call them? Cursed glitches. Yeah, that's what we call Cursed them. glitches? Uh, so yeah, we have a whole compilation of cursed Like memes or like just cursed images Things of like glitches? Things like to go wrong. Rigs like to break. Animations sometimes <laughs> go weird just because you're working with computers. Ever seen that image mm -hmm. of that Ubisoft place where it's like floating eyes and a mouth? Yeah, we have a lot of that. We have a lot of that. That's actually very normal in the Show industry. it. Show <laughs> it. You guys should check it out. And with that, we'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye. Later. <laughs> what? Oh god. Everything's cursed. Love the earthbound music. <laughs> oh god. What? Lamar, bruh. There's Lucinia. Oh my god, Lucinia lost her arms. Well, kind of, yeah, she lost her one of her arms, but both of her arms. There's 10 seconds. Follow us, bitch, production. Okay, that was basically it. Anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe to Glitch. Make sure you watch the original link. Subscribe. I already said that. Um, Give a like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Deuces.